What's up guys, this is Will of Will H Tech Review back with another video and today I'm going to see if I can get Samsung DeX to run on my, my Microsoft Surface Go 2. So I picked this up a few days ago and I have been really enjoying the device so far. The only thing I can say that's not too great is battery life but performance has been pretty good and uh, I just came to my mind I wanted to see if DeX would run on the on this model that I have. Now I have the, the lower, the entry level one. I have the uh, Microsoft Go, four gigabytes of RAM, 64 gigabytes of storage. And this one is running the Intel Pentium Go 25Y processor. And you can pick this one up for $399. Uh, you can also get this with the Core M3 processor. Uh, 128 gigabytes of storage and 8 gigabytes of RAM but I wanted to see how this one performed like I said so far it's been working great uh, it's not the speediest and I didn't expect it to be uh, with the specs that it has but it's it's really it's really impressing me so far what for what I use it for so I do have a Bluetooth keyboard hooked up and my Microsoft Arch Touch mouse right here and I am using a USB type C hub back here to connect my mouse. Now I did try this using this with my Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 because I wanted to have like a dual monitor setup deal here, but I cannot get it to work so far. And I think it's a power issue that I need to get corrected when I connect my type C to both. And I don't think it's getting enough power. So once I figure that out, I'll come back and make a video on how that works as well. So let's take a look at this. Let's go ahead and open up uh, the web here. Now this is the Microsoft Edge browser here. Let's go into YouTube. I'll show you how fast this thing gets into YouTube or something like that. Like I said, it's not the speediest, but it works. And it's been, it's been pretty good so far. So let's go ahead and close this out. I'm gonna go ahead and use my Samsung Galaxy Note 9 for the Dex here and dex has been around since the samsung galaxy s8 i think so you can go all the way back to those so once you plug it in as you see dex automatically starts it's asking me do i want to cast dex over here and i have to press start now so let's see how fast it takes to get into dex and as you can see dex has started up over here now, one thing I noticed when it first starts up, it kind of cuts off the top of the screen right here. And what I do when this happens, I go ahead and I uh, minimize it and I restart it again. And now everything fits, opens back up where it fits the display here. So I can do everything that I need to do here, like I do when it's hooked up to a monitor. I can check all of my notifications here. I can go into my settings. I can set the uh, sound, Bluetooth, things of that nature, turn off dark. Uh, I can go ahead and stream side. I can search if I want to. So Dex is in full effects on here, but how good does it work? So let's go ahead and open up some things here. So let's open up YouTube. And here's YouTube going, as you guys can see. I can open this full screen if I want, like so. I can go ahead and play a video. Uh, <laughs> I close it out. Let's open it back up. So I can go ahead and play a video here, one of my videos. Go to my channel and go here. Let's play this one. And you get a chance now this is all coming from the uh, uh data or data on my on my phone uh it's not coming through my home internet as you guys can see and i'll go ahead and minimize that and i'll move this over like so and let's go ahead and open up facebook so facebook opens up i'm gonna go ahead and move this over here now I can resize this if I want. My video is still going. And I can scroll through Facebook. And if I wanted to comment or whatever, I can I can always do that. 
Uh, let's go ahead and shrink this down a little bit, resize this. And all the while, as you guys can see, my video is still going, so I'm going to go into Twitter now. Let's open up Twitter. Now, if I wanted to comment on Twitter, I could go over here. And I could type out something. Good evening, folks. And I'm going to tweet that. So, as you guys can see, I'm, I'm multitasking here. And I can go back over here to my uh, Facebook continue to do that and I'm also watching my my video so uh, I can go ahead and close these out now say for instance I wanted to edit a video in Dex mode on here how well would that work so I'm gonna go ahead and open up power directly here and I'm gonna go ahead and go full screen some of these ask you to restart it to go full screen and uh, uh, so if I wanted to edit this video right here, I'd open it up and hit edit. So let's see if this thing will play without stuttering and buffering and all that. As you guys can see, it's playing well. I can stroll up through it. Let's see if it'll go ahead and pick up playing. So it's playing great. No issues at all. Go ahead and close this out. So, as you guys can see, if I wanted to use Adobe Rush, Premiere Rush, I could use it on here as well. Uh, so, I got different uh, things that I can use. So, what about gaming when you're in the Dex mode on your uh, Surface Go 2? So, let's see. Uh, I think gaming would be probably be better using it... Uh, probably wouldn't be too good on this because you have to have this tethered by a cape by a type c but i imagine you can do it if you get your a uh bluetooth a bluetooth uh controller then it'd probably be a better experience but as you can see i got alto's adventure going here and just using my mouse i'm able to play this so uh Let's see if I can touch the screen. See, I can I can also uh, touch the screen and maneuver as well. So uh, let's try. Now I don't know how well other games will work, uh, but let's go ahead. Let's try Subway Surfer here. I'm not going to try the the big the big games on here. I may make a separate video on that and see. So Subway work, Surfer is not going to work on there. Gave me a message there saying it can't work so i guess it's going to be a hit and miss on certain games here uh let's see what else i can try uh here's call of duty let's see if that'll open up so call of duty seems to be uh working here so if i had a controller and let's see it's opening up so with a controller I could probably play it or I could sit here and play it like so with even with your cable hooked up so you can see it's opening it up and it's not taking long to open up confirm here so it needs an update but as you guys can see it's definitely open up and games some games will play it seems so if I wanted to uh, work on the document here uh, in Google Docs I can go into my if I wanted to Let's see, Google Docs. Let's go ahead and find it. And there it is. So if I want to go in here and create a new doc or keep working on one that I've already started on, as you guys can see, I got a lot of stuff in here, then I could do that. So Dex is working great on the entry level Microsoft Surface Go. And I have no issues with it at all. It starts uh, when it first starts off, it doesn't go full screen. And at the same time, if I wanted to keep doing something on my phone over here, I can also still use my phone to make phone calls, to text, or whatever. Or I could text from here. So you can really have like a dual stream setup going here 
if I could get, if you could have another monitor or if I can get my Tab S6 to work, then I can do all of that. I do have messaging over here as well. So uh, that is a look at Dex on the Microsoft Surface Go, guys. And it seemed like it, it works well to me. I don't have an issue with it at all working here. So let's go ahead and close this out. So there it is. Samsung Dex on the Microsoft Surface Go. Catch you guys in the next video. Will H. And I'm out.